New research from a team of San Diego scientists is helping explain why the coronavirus can cause complications really across the body. Scripps anchor Derek Stahl is going in depth on how it reveals new secrets about the virus's famous spikes. We often think of COVID-19 as a lung disease, but from the start of the pandemic, doctors have noticed patients with strange symptoms from brain damage to swollen toes to heart complications and kidney failure. Now, new research from the Salk Institute is helping explain why from the cellular level. The virus actually attacks what's called the vascular endothelial cell. Professor Uri Manor and his colleagues documented how the coronavirus attacks the cells lining blood vessels. And those blood vessels are the critical link, says Dr. Christian Ramers, who was not involved with the study. You have blood vessels all throughout your body. Every organ in your body needs to be fed with arterial blood and then venous blood drains away from that. So something that actually attacks the vascular bed attacks the entire body head to toe. Scientists have known for a while that the coronavirus's distinctive spike proteins allow it to enter cells. But the Salk researchers found the spikes also do something else. They discovered it by building a kind of artificial virus. We created what's called a pseudovirus, which is basically something that looks like a virus and that it has a surface with the proteins on the surface. The approach let them figure out the impact of just the spikes alone. And they realize the spikes don't just unlock cells, they also damage them. The take home from this research, I think, confirms what clinicians have been seeing throughout the pandemic, which is that this is not your ordinary respiratory virus. One way to think about it is that this virus is just coated in kryptonite. The researchers showed that when the spikes attach to a part of the cell, it eventually leads to damage in the cell's power source called mitochondria. They're a major signaling hub of the cell that's involved in inflammation and aging and telling the cells when to die and when to live. Professor Manor says mitochondria damage can lead to a lot of long term effects, and he wonders if that damage could be contributing to long haul COVID. Either way, he says the study could help researchers start screening for new treatments. Derek Stahl.